What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with another awesome scrap mechanic build. Uh, I've been a little slow in putting up videos, kind of, I, I need to apologize for that. I've been a little bit under the weather the last couple of days and uh, as a result I haven't actually been very quick in putting up the videos but uh, I am trying to get onto a video once every, at least once every two days. Uh, I'm going to try to do one every day but I do still work full time so uh, sometimes I get a little tied up with work or something happens in life, I get sick, whatever. Um, so I do apologize for that. I, I really am trying to put out more content because the subscriber count is just flying and you guys are friggin awesome and I love you all for it. But, uh, and I'm trying not to let you down on my end. So now that all the mushy stuff's out of the way, uh, I want to present you the build for today, which is kind of pretty cool. I really like it and it's a self-balancing cube. So. I'm not the first person to make this. I actually didn't even realize I wasn't the first person to make this. Uh, I searched for a self-balancing cube, and there is somebody by the name of, I believe, Oxlux. I'll put a link in the description down below. But he made a self-balancing cube using what's known as the spring glitch, or the suspension glitch, which I'll explain in a bit. Um, I try to use basically whatever's available in the vanilla game without the glitch. Um, the suspension glitch is pretty cool. It's, it's a very simple glitch where you can basically create a fake force on an object. Uh, a lot of people have used it to make self-balancing vehicles, like uh, self-balancing motorcycles, and it's pretty cool, and it works really well, mainly because you create a huge, huge gyroscopic force with a very small area. Um, I try and avoid using it with all my builds, and the only reason I do is I'm worried at some point in time they may or may not patch that glitch out. Uh, they might they might fix the physics and prevent that glitch from happening and then a lot of my builds would become useless So I try and avoid using it completely uh, But I'll show you really quickly how it works But this is the self balancing cube without using a suspension glitch and you can see it does wobble a bit It's a very simple concept. It uses three sensors with a bunch of thrusters on the inside And when each sensor activates the thrusters will, will fire in the opposite direction which causes it to stay balanced but anyways, let's uh Let's show you real quick how the suspension glitch works. This thing, I've, I've put a little cage around it, obviously. Uh, that's just because when it drifts, I don't want it flying across the map. But uh, originally, of course, the, the inspiration for this comes from, there's a YouTube video called the Gyro Cube. Uh, it's a real life cube, and it uses a gyro, which is basically a spinning weight. And uh, it spins that weight really, really fast. And then as it stops spinning the weight, the reaction force causes the cube to tilt up. And then it keeps spinning it slowly just to maintain balance. A really, really cool device. Uh, also link that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, check that out. That's where the inspiration for this came from. One of my buddies said, you know, you should try and make this. And I did uh, using a gyro, which is basically this, which is a weight on a lever. And so you can see when you activate the weight on the lever, it creates a force which causes it to spin. I tried using this method instead of using thrusters. Um, it didn't work. The the You can't control the speed of the gyro midway, and so it was either going not enough and the cube would just fall over, or it was going too much and it would fling it in the wrong direction. So it really didn't work, um, but when I switched over to the thruster method, it worked quite well, and you end up with something that looks like this, which is quite awesome. So anyways, the suspension glitch, so it's really it's really quite simple. Um, if you take a beam, like so, uh, let's just mount this above the ground. So if you take a beam like so, and I can see I've got a free free floating beam, and I'll put a weight on it, just so it stays down, like that. And uh, if you take this beam, and you put a controller on it, like so, and you put bearing right you'll see so you have this suspension piece mounted to a spring and you hook this bearing up to a controller right and that's your basic mechanism now this doesn't actually do anything right now it's not not actually moving but as soon as I activate this bearing and I tell it to go one degree literally all you need it's gonna now jam the suspension down into the beam and the suspension is going to push back because it's going to get a little bit compressed. So it's now going to try and push back. And as it pushes back, that'll generate an infinite force that will last forever. Uh, because it'll never actually be able to fully reach full length again. And so it'll just tilt forever, as you can see. And you will generate a force. And it will quite literally keep flipping. Now this one's very, very slow. I've only put it at one degree. But you can see 
it's it's very unnatural how it works but this is this is the suspension glitch it will continue to go forever now of course how you turn that into a cube well let's say i do the same glitch but i uh, i catch this and i put a sensor on it uh oh sensor like so and now i link the sensor to the suspension and i change this to be zero but i change this to be one activated when the sensor activates now if i put this like this when the sensor activates you'll see it pushes the sensor deactivates it'll stop if you want to use this design really cool concept you can do a lot of cool stuff with it i don't know if and when they're going to patch it out i have a funny feeling they will um, because obviously this is an unnatural uh, piece of physics but uh, if they don't, great, then a lot of designs will stay, but if they do, then uh, there will be a fair amount of designs. As you can see, the cube's kind of pushed up now. There will be a fair amount of designs that become obsolete. So you can see my cube, it will not write itself. You have to, in fact, just lift it up, which is unfortunate, like so. But then once you lift it up, there you go. See, it will it will start to balance and then of course you have to fish that piece out and I, uh, I apologize again for the the delay between videos I haven't been feeling the greatest but uh, please remember hit that subscribe button drop me a like and uh, I'll see y'all next time have a good one